Welcome to Ticknell Weekly Market Outlook for week commencing the 18th of January with me, Patrick Munley. Washington will be very much the focus of the world's attention next week as Joe Biden is inaugurated as the 46th US President on Wednesday. It would seem unlikely that we see a repeat of the civil unrest witnessed on Capitol Hill, but progress on impeachment proceedings may preoccupy the Senate at a time when the US economy looks like it needs more support. Washington on Tuesday will also see Janet Yellen's confirmation hearing as US Treasury Secretary. She may well be asked what she thinks about the dollar. Best guess would be that she would reply along the lines of believing in a strong dollar policy, but exchange rates should be best set by the market. Doubt the dollar needs to, uh, doubt, doubt the dollar rallies too much on any uh, remarks from Yellen. US data for the week ahead will focus on housing, which is doing pretty well and whether US initial claims show another unwelcome spike. In the background, I suspect the dollar bear trend is in a consolidation phase. Uh, dollar Asia basket uh, dropped or slowed, helped partially by a weaker uh, Chinese yuan fixing, and also by emerging complaints around the world over the pace of the dollar decline. Given flows into emerging markets have been a key driver of this benign dollar decline, China fourth quarter GDP released on Monday will also set the tone, as will any further signs of tighter monetary policy after a small liquidity drain by the People's Bank of China on Friday. So from a technical perspective, the dollar index is, uh, is in a fourth wave uh, corrected pattern at the moment versus the swing low at the 89.83 area. Uh, area. I'm looking for an equality test now into the 91.50 to uh, 9180 zone. Watch for bearish reversal patterns, set short positions there, ultimately targeting a move down on this leg to test 8750 as the primary downside objective. However, if, uh, if we do take out the 92 level on a closing basis, then we could expect uh, further consolidation higher to potentially test up towards the 93 to 94 zone. However, the, my base pattern that I'm tracking at the moment is for this correction to complete in the 9150 to 9180 area. European policymakers will take centre stage this week, a week which sees meetings of both the ECB, the European Central Bank, and EU leaders. Uh, for the ECB, uh, the market expects dis not much from the December easing measures. However, we would expect uh, President Lagarde to say that the ECB is monitoring the exchange rate carefully, wary of the euro's impact on an already subdued inflation rate. The EU summit on Wednesday looks set to focus on the coordination of the vaccination rollout and also the implementation of the EU recovery fund. On the subject of politics, Monday will also see the market review the results of the CDU uh, leadership contest in Germany. Be interested to see any conclusions reached by the European Commission in its report released Wednesday on improving the international role of the euro, for example, on the subject of pricing energy in euros. This is a structural issue which will probably take some time, but will likely have a str strong support from those countries trying to find ways to extricate themselves from the dollar dominance. Uh, wrapping up ongoing Italian political certainty and a steady dollar could weigh on the euro this week. So from a technical perspective, seen a, an impulsive decline uh, set in in the euro, testing down below uh, 121. As 12050 supports on an initial test, I look for a move back to retest 122 as resistance, then for another leg lower to complete uh, an ABC corrective pattern to test bids down below 120 to 119.50. 119.10 area, watching for bullish reversal patterns there to set long positions, targeting a retest of the price cycle highs, 123.47, on towards uh, 124.50. <sighs> Sterling has been the best performing G10 currency last week, benefiting from the mix of one, the market uh, repricing the odds of the Bank of England moving into negative rate territory after Government Bailey's comments earlier last week, and two, faster rollout of the vaccination in the UK versus other major economies, certainly in the Eurozone and the US. While the former is now in the price, the latter should continue to provide 
uh, some marginal support to sterling. On the UK data front, focus will be on Wednesday's December CPI release, which is expected to increase modestly, yet staying well below the 2% target. On Friday, we get December retail sales, also January PMIs. The latter two should improve versus the prior reading, but any effect on sterling is probably going to be limited. A uh, speech from Governor Bailey on Monday and the BOE Chief Economist Haldane on Tuesday are unlikely to affect selling too much as the market has already adjusted to the probability of negative uh, rates. Oh, oh, sorry, has already adjusted the probability of negative rates lower versus last week's speeches. So from a technical perspective, uh, looking for sterling to complete a corrective pattern uh, versus the double top here at 137, I'm looking for a three-way correction move lower to ultimately test this ascending trend line support to the 134 area. And from there, I would anticipate that bulls look to re-engage to make a challenge on the 138.50 upside objective. Obviously, any breach of or loss of the trend line support would suggest a deeper correction is underway and we could be looking down to this 132 area first. Dolly Earn has recently been one of the major beneficiaries of the steeper US yield curve. It's not clear that the US curve needs to steepen more next week um, versus the certainly versus the proposed 1.9 trillion fiscal stimulus plan. Uh, which will be digested by the markets in more detail. Uh, this suggests that the dolly yen doesn't really, shouldn't really be trading through the 104.50 area, certainly with the dovish Fed commentary, and lighter supply may be sufficient to keep the US Treasury yields stable around current levels. In Japan, the highlight of the week will be Friday's BOJ meeting. The worsening COVID situation in Japan will no doubt be weighing on the BOJ's minds, as will deflation. No fresh easing is expected from the BOJ and instead speculation is growing that the BOJ will scale back its ETF stock buying program given the strength in equities and the BOJ's substantial ownership of the ETF sector. So from a technical perspective, I'm looking for the dollar yen to correct uh, lower to test the 103.30, 103.50 area. And then maybe we see an attempt on the descending trend line resistance coming in at that 104.50. But from there, I'd certainly be watching for bearish reversal patterns, to set short positions, targeting a retest of last year's lows down to 101.20. Finally, down under in Australia last week, uh, even given the dollar's uh, solid performance, the Aussies still managed to hold on to that 77 cents level thanks to a lingering strength in iron ore prices, some positive spillover from the US stimulus hopes and signs of China possibly re-allowing some Australian coal shipments at its ports. For the week ahead, the main data point to watch is the December jobs report and economists are looking for uh, a slowdown in the employment recovery with the December increase in hiring, probably about 67,000 versus the 90,000 last month. Uh, whilst this is still a little pessimistic given consensus, which is uh, centered around 50K, uh, I think almost that half of the increase will be attributable to part-time hiring. This should simply confirm expectations for the RBA's lower for longer approach and have a short-lived impact on the Australian dollar. There are other real key drivers uh, data-wise for the Aussie next week. Uh, you could expect some potential spillover from China's growth data released early on Monday. So from a technical perspective, the Australian dollar continues to find resistance at the 78 level. And as that level holds its resistance, I'm looking for a move down to test ascending trend line support down through the monthly pivot at 76 to, uh, to around this 75 area, certainly looking bullish reversal patterns in this zone, set long positions, targeting a move through the 78 and on towards that interim upside objective at the 80 level. As always, traders, uh, Thursday, 1 p.m. UK time, I will be reviewing uh, charts, uh, all the FX majors, uh, indices, commodities, Bitcoin, and, uh, and taking requests as well. So join me at 1 p.m. on Thursday if you can. And uh, that concludes the weekly market outlook for week commencing January the 18th. Thanks very much and hope this helps.